It's four days after the big earthquake in Mexico City that did a lot of damage. Uh, that happened on Tuesday, September 19th. Uh, today is Saturday, uh, September 23rd. And uh, what happened was on um, the day after the earthquake, not two days after, on Thursday, my wife and I went to, uh, there's all these, these things all over uh, Cuernavaca and I guess all over, everywhere, all over the state. Uh, there's these places called Centro de Acopio. It's like a collection center and they're soliciting, they want people to donate any, um, anything, diapers, uh, food, water, supplies, medical supplies, even building supplies, blankets, clothes, things like that. And so people donate to these centers and, and people go and, and, and uh, my wife and I went and we, um, we spent about three hours there on Thursday helping sorting things into different categories and then putting them into, they kind of make like bags into, they put, they'll put a roll of toilet paper and, and uh, a bottle of water and, and things like that. And so we did that and we loaded them onto trucks and they take them to the towns that need it. And then we did it again on Friday for a couple of hours. And um, after I did it on Thursday, I kind of got the bug and I started thinking uh, I want to do more. And once I uh, get my mind on something, I think my wife can agree that I Gets don't let go. Special. Yeah, when, once, I, uh, once I get an idea, I don't let go. And, and uh, I really start to think about it. And I wanted, I wanted to do more. And... Um, so I got, I got, I got home at, at 9.30 on Thursday night and I, I posted on Facebook saying to, uh, to all my Canadian friends and American, mostly Canadian friends and family, for anybody, um, uh, I kind of came up with a, a, a concept called, um, what did I call it? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Your money, my time. And uh, because your money, Can Canadian money and American money uh, goes a long way in Mexico. It's, it's very valuable here. And um, so I thought, and I, I, I said to everybody, if you give me the money personally in my account, send a PayPal or deposit to my account, I'm going to take all that money and I'm going to go and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend it on all the things that people really need. And I'm going to personally, me and my wife, we're going to hand deliver it to the people we need it. And I thought, I didn't know, I thought... I was talking to my wife. I said, "Should I do this or not? I don't want to look like a jackass if nobody gives anything, and or, or if people think I'm putting the money in my pocket or something." And I promise, no tacos, no concerts, nothing like that. This is all for for people who need it. And um, you people came through, and uh, I got a list here. Uh, I'm going to read this this quickly. The total was, I've got the total here, I, I couldn't believe it. I thought maybe if I got a couple hundred bucks, that would be pretty cool. I ended up with, drum roll. Thank you. $1,308, not pesos, $1,308, which uh, works out to about 18,800 Mexican pesos. That's a lot of money, that, that's no, really amazing. No. Yeah, so so uh, quickly, uh, just to, to the people who donated, uh, just quickly, Pete Stamkos, my mother, Sharon Delaney, Delabapo, Dave Delabato, Suzanne Stamkos, uh, Trinette and Jason Gatro, Ryan McCartney, Wendell, Patricia Holder, Wendell from the United States, I didn't even know this guy, he was a friend of a friend and, and my friend shared this post um, and he did it, so I don't even know this guy and, and he donated money, Wendell... I think Boggle, sorry, Wendell, I can't even remember your last name. Um, Patricia Holder, Tula Stamkos, it's been a while, huh? John Stamkos, uh, Sue and Dan Davies, uh, Mafer, uh, 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 um, the, the a Mexican donation, and uh, Satterfield, the, great, the greatest last name ever, Jason Satterfield. Uh, so for all those people, really, thank you very much. Not for me, um, but, but for the people that are going to get... All this loot. We went out today and uh, we, um, we got, I, I did an inventory here of all the stuff we got. We've got um, toothpaste. We've got uh, 144 tubes of toothpaste. We got bags here. That's a, a box of 500 bags that we're going to make kind of gift bags for everybody. We've got uh, Manorchan Instant Soup here, 120 individual servings of Manachan soup for anybody who wants to know that's Camarón y Limón y Habanero 
Um, what's next? Polvorones cookies. We've got eight boxes of 14. We've got 112 packs of cookies, individual packs of cookies. I think of six or eight. So that's several hundred cookies. Um, tuna is over. Now, toilet paper. Now, let me stick with the toilet paper. We got four cases of 40, so 160 giant rolls of, of toilet paper. Double ply, that's what Canadian money buys. Uh, tuna, 121 cans of tuna. It really bothered me to buy 121, not 120, but they are in stacks of 11, and I just grabbed uh, grabbed the stacks and it came out to be 100, and we got a cat. Um, some juice boxes here, we've got 240 juice boxes there. That's six, six cases at, at 40. Uh, aspirin up here. We've got 1,200 individual aspirins, which I think are 120 blister packs, I think. So we're going to put one in each uh, pack. And uh, yeah, we got uh, oh some more bags over there to, to put. The, ah, no, I'm, I forgot the dog food. We got for a special request by Pete Stamkos. He wanted me to help the dog. So there we go. We got 120 pounds of dog food that we're going to break up into um, bag servings, I guess a, a kilo or a, a two kilo bag. Um, and that's what we got. So as I turn this around, for all the people who helped, again, I, I can't say thank you enough. It's almost midnight. Actually, it is midnight. Um, and, and we just got to start this. We're, we're going to rip open everything and, and put... Uh, I guess we're going to put like one soup, one tube of toothpaste, two rolls of toilet paper, or a roll of toilet paper, two juice boxes, a can of tuna, things like that. Because we saw these, we learned this from the people doing it on Thursday. We were, we were helping them do that. Um, and then the dog food is going to be separate. So we're going to make these uh, dispensa. We're going to make bags. And uh, we're going to go tomorrow. I think um, we've do, we're going to be a couple of hours doing this. And we've got to wake up in the morning. We've got to drive to the south of the state. I think I've decided, um, and different towns need different things, and that kind of changes day by day. Some need food, and some need supplies, building supplies, things like that. I've been looking into it. Um, it seems that I think the town we're going to go to is called Asociapan. It's in the very, very south of, of Morelos State on the border of Puebla. It's where the epicenter was. It was right there. So we're going to be right where the epicenter was. Nobody's going there. It's, it's kind of a remote very hard to get to place, well, relatively to the other places around Morelos. So that's where we're going to go. Um, and, and we're going to give give the stuff to these people. We're going to put it in their hands and give it to them and, and make sure everybody gets gets a, a fair a fair amount of stuff. And uh, the, the good news, bad news for everybody's donation, we didn't even spend half of your money. So what we've decided to do, we're going to stretch this out over several Sundays. We're going to do this again. We can't do it next Sunday. We've already got a commitment. But I think the Sunday after that, we're going to go do this again, maybe to another town. We're going to do this all again. Go to the store um, and then maybe do it another Sunday after that until all the money is exhausted because we still have a lot left. So really, really, thanks. I, I can't say it again. I mean, I can't say it enough. Really, really great. We have too much money. We don't know what to do with it. But I promise it will go to the to the people that need it. And um, it's going to be a long day tomorrow. It's going to be very hot down in the south. It's super hot down there. It's going to be in the 30s. But uh, these people have it terrible. This was a devastating earthquake. A lot of these towns are completely destroyed. They're very small towns that didn't have a lot to begin with. And now they really have nothing. This video has gone on very long. And uh, so I'm going to shut it down. We're going to... Uh, Thank We're you so much get for to work helping here. my country. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so much. Canadians coming through, and Americans, and uh, Mexicans for everybody. So that's it for the video. I'm going to be documenting, I, I guess, uh, some stuff that we do yesterday. And uh, I got nothing else to say. So there we go.